Um, thank you. Uh, we're going to do this quick because we're running quite a bit behind here, and apparently, and I want to get to the get to you and, and discuss this, and not just have us talk. So, uh, I'm going to try to take this in bullet points uh, and give you the bullet points, and I'll expand on any one of them uh, at the at the Q and A that you're interested in. So, the first bullet point is that <clears throat> this issue of palliative care is a team game. It is absolutely a team game. Now, there are different positions on the team. You know, there are um, baseball fans. So there are pitchers and there are hitters and there are fielders and people are different, have different, but you know, you can't just have a pitcher. You need hitters, you need to score runs to win a ball game. Uh, and you need people to catch the ball because the pitcher doesn't strike out every batter. So this is a team game. And it's gotta be about team. And to do that, we need to get away from, this is bolt two. We have to get away from the turfism, the denominationalism, the, the clergy bashing, the doctor bashing, you know, the doctors don't talk to me, the chaplains don't talk to me, we don't talk to each other, we have to think, and there's truth to that with some, in some ways, but we have to get over that. Uh, we need each other uh, across denominations, across professions. There's nobody who is unimportant, and there's nobody who we can't do without. Um, we can even do without doctors, uh, and we can do without clergy. So, um, and the reason for that, this is bold number three, is that, that care is going out in the community. Uh, inpatient hospitals are shrinking, the inpatient beds are shrinking. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center now considers itself an outpatient facility with a small inpatient core, think about that. Um, in 2017, they will start to do outpatient bone marrow transplants. Actually, they've already started. They're just, the building isn't up yet. Uh, and so that means that those of you who are out in the community are going to be more critical than you already are, and you already are critical. So we have to talk to each other across that hospital boundary. Um, so in that, the, the chaplain, I think, the professional chaplain is the is the spiritual care lead, the spiritual care specialist, if you will, like the cardiologist or the surgeon on the healthcare team. Uh, the other members of the team are generalists, so we believe that nurses and doctors are also spiritual care deliverers, must be, must be. Not to the level of us as chaplains, but, uh, but there. Uh, everybody else is a generalist. We as chaplains are the bridge to the community from the hospital. We translate the medical team. And we have some special expertise in how to do that and how to talk about and how to negotiate these end of life issues. But we don't know about every denomination. We need people from the faith community. We need you to teach us about your people. We need you, as just was said, we need you to teach the physicians, the nurses, the hospital, how to, te how to, um, how to care for your people. We need you also to listen to us about some of the things that we know. Uh, and we need to have a conversation. And we need to um, be educated about culture. And so this is a learning experience for both of us. We all have things to learn from each other. Uh, any of us who thinks they don't uh, doesn't, isn't going to be in this game. Um, but it's, a, it's an all important game. Uh, and it boils down to something very simple. I had the great privilege some years ago of introducing um, the Honorable Waz Muhammad. And somebody in the Q&A asked him a question. Uh, this was in a bunch of non-Muslims, big group, and he said, I said, he said, if you were, came a patient in my hospital, what, you, what would you expect me to do for you? And the Imam didn't, I thought he didn't understand the question. He, knew, he understood it all right, it was just so simple. He didn't quite understand why you were asking it. And he said, I expect you to care for me. That's what I expect. So we're all caring, and we're caring for each other, and we need to do it together. Thank you.